Um, but it's gonna it's gonna be fun. Ludwig is another character who who really has grown on me watching the the humor that he has. It's been um, it's, he's just a fun guy to watch play chess. Okay, so so the game is underway, right? Yep. So e four just played. Right. So okay, Ludwig ignores my my suggestion. He plays pawn to e five. So he ignores what I suggested, which is completely fine if this is what he prepared. Oh. Oh. You think he prepared this? He likes gambits. Oh wow! Oh wow! So Ludwig decides to play the Latvian gambit. Um, now we'll see right away if Ludwig did some preparation here. Yeah, let's let's take a listen into his stream to see what he's saying. Yeah, sure. He said he doesn't have time to teach me. He said Ludwig. Okay, uh, teach Ludwig. Well, I could teach Ludwig. Uh, uh, well, uh, what, what's XQC up to? Apparently, my viewer count Who too low. Who gave the Latvian gambit advice? So his one piece of advice hey, Carl, you was look so the shocked. Latvian gambit. But now what do I do? Now what the f am I supposed to do, Hikaru? This is not I what I told him to play move. at all. Um, you just said to do F5. Yeah, I have that's why I'm confused. Else. Who told him this? No, I'm Sorry, I'm, I'm going to my it. Discord. Sorry, right, I'm trying on, to look at what on. I wrote. Luigi Classical. Okay, let me look. I, okay, am, am I really going to tell you guys? Okay. So I'm literally going to tell you guys what I wrote to Ludwig this Rather morning than immediately at 1047 a.m. Eastern time. I said, I don't have time, but here's my recommendation. Papa Plata is relatively new to the game, and he will go 1 to E4. So I'd recommend something slightly unorthodox to confuse him, such as 1 E4, pawn to D5, the Scandinavian defense, or 1 E4, C5, Sicilian defense. Well, I think he mixed up the pawn. <laughs> respond with something likely... Um, so Moving this is this knight. is going to be an interesting game, right Hikaru. There. But he um, seems like yeah, he, he's kind of okay. Well, now if Papa Plata sees, um, I believe Queen H5 here, he's winning. Yeah, I'm really confused by this this opening choice by uh, by Ludwig. Well, last time we had the interview phase and Ludwig. <gasps> oh! oh, he plays knight e3. Oh, um, oh no. Oh my god. White's still, White's still in good shape if White plays queen h5 check. Yeah, but... he just has to see it. Okay, but this is gonna this is really wild. Um and I'm checking in on um Papa Plata's stream and he's pointing towards the two knights, but I don't so I think he's just too preoccupied trying to figure out what to do with his knights to see the queen check. I mean, Ludwig is going all in here. Yeah, this is a crazy opening by Ludwig. I, 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 this is, yeah, this is the weirdest opening I think we've seen in any of the games um, so far. Definitely is. Um, and it's, it's, it's kind of funny, but I guess it does make sense to get confused um, the squares when you're just learning. Yeah, I mean, I, I think certainly it's it's possible. I mean, I'm just... Yeah, maybe Ludwig, maybe he... No, but there's no way Ludwig can confuse the squares. He's the guy who played blindfold chess. There's just no way. Oh, Hikaru, Queen H5 played. Oh, my God. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be be wild. Um. I, okay. I still think there's a very high likelihood that both players will blunder, but I guess we're going to listen in, right? Yeah, so we're just about to listen in to Ludwig. I think we're going to go full screen there to see how he's reacting to this very scary threat. Wait. Okay, this is fine, right? This is cool. Yeah, you just. You... Oh no. If I go here, he'll likely go. Wait, 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 wait. Think about this. Think about this. Think about this. I'm gonna go here. Then he's gonna go here. Put me in check again. And then let's if see I if block he sees the rook is hanging with my queen. Not quite. Then he'll grab the pawn. If I block with my bishop, he'll grab this pawn. But I don't give a shit if he grabs that pawn. Cause I still get a I still get a sweet horse. Oh no. So yeah, get we ball. <laughs> <laughs> Was that cool? Was that cool that a white guy said we ball? I played wreck. <laughs> Six months. They called me buckets. Well, I guess maybe Bad we shopping. can go back to where we see the board as well. Right. Yeah. So I mean, Queen five is is, an, is a oh. critical move. He's yeah, got to play. We're still it. listening to him to his reaction. <gasps> I blundered. Oh man, Ludwig might just lose this game right here. My rook. 
Maybe he doesn't see it. He probably doesn't see it. It is kind of a high level find. So I would be sh This is I, I think this is going well, Hikaru. <laughs> yeah, this is very strange. Very strange opening choice by Ludwig. Um yeah. for sure. And he's definitely in bad shape, but I would say if he can defend his knight and take one of White's knights, he still has a good chance to maybe survive and uh, be in the game. Yeah, that that's true. Um, but it is very critical that he has to he has to defend the knight here, or else he's just going to lose. Um, he's going to lose without without much of a fight. Right. If 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 we see Bishop e6 here defending his knight, he has a chance. Yeah, so I mean, he's got to find a way to stabilize where he's only losing a rook for one knight. Um, if he can do that, I think he's still very much in the game, but he's got to find a move to protect his knight here. And he did just bring up bishop e6 on his stream, so I do think he might see it. Um, so if he does play it, what do you think his chances of surviving are? I think it's still very close to 50-50. I, I would say if he plays bishop to e6, his chances are, are probably, I would st still say like 40%. I would say 60-40. Um, if he moves the king, I think it's very unlikely he's going to survive the game, but I think he should move the bishop here. Okay, well, we're, we're going to see his decision soon, but now I see that he's also considering king f8. So he does understand his knight is under attack. He sees the threat. Ooh, okay, king f8 here. Well, Papa Plata also has to play accurately here, but I think even mm -hmm. the intuitive moves, like moving one of the knights away from the pin and taking the pawn on e4 is a good move for him. Yeah, but the problem I think here is that bishop c4 is a very natural developing move. Like, it's a mm -hmm. move that I think everyone's been taught at some point to play, develop your bishop and castle your king. So um, I think it's uh, it's definitely a move that that um, Papa Plata is capable of finding, and... If he finds the move, I think the game is over. I think it's just that simple. Got it. So you do think it's it's an intuitive move he's likely to find. And actually, um, checking into his, his stream now, he found it. Bishop c4. And how how is he going to defend? I mean, if he moves the queen up, we just take. If he moves the bishop, we take. There's no good way mm -hmm. to defend against this checkmate. He can stall if he moves his bishop away to make space for his king. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I think black here should probably move the bishop, but it's still really, really bad. Oh, man. Oof. Maybe, maybe, you know, Ludwig is a little bit of a comedian, and last time we had commentary, you know, he kind of joked that we messed him up with the prep. Maybe this is part of a long joke <laughs> where he's throwing, you know what I mean? Possibly, yeah, possibly. This is not, not off to a good start. So in fact, I think there might be a forced checkmate here for white um, in the next couple of moves. If you take with the queen... Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll draw arrows. And then you move the knight to d5. Yeah, that looks that looks terrifying. I guess actually the other knight is a little better, but right. So um, yeah, I think I mean yeah. So you have to go king e7 only move. And the the moves here for Papa Plata are are quite intuitive, right? Because he just continues checking. Oh no, Ludwig right. is raging. Well, I'm I'm just very confused by this opening choice by Ludwig. It's not it's not what I suggested. I don't think anyone that he's taken lessons with has suggested this opening to him either. So uh, it's a little bit strange. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really looking forward to this interview. I think I think well, we're gonna I mean, get a game, lot of answers. The game, the game is not over yet, though. If queens come off the board, it's definitely not over. And there's still a chance there could be a blunder. Well, we're gonna take another listen onto what Ludwig is saying right now because he it, it seems like he has a lot to say. Or not a lot to say, and more just to kind of groove to the beat. That works too. Mm -hmm. Right, right, yeah. Just, just chilling, just relaxing. It's a good way to take an L, I guess. New idea. If he, if he, if he allows me, trade queens. No way, this homie's gonna beat me in five minutes and thirty seconds without his queen. This dude is queen <laughs> desperate. They call him the simp of chess players.
Lud Ludwig is hilarious. He's so fun to watch. Come on, dude. You're killing me! Can we get him to commentate the next candidates or something? Uh, he went QD6. I, oh, no. This is just so, so bad. My queen is on D6. If Papa Platt is knight 12. takes pawn here, it's game That's over. That's the end of but the I, opening I still think phase. My queen is on It comes down to every single on move. D6. Because both players don't have a lot of time either. So wow. this could this game That's is amazing. not necessarily over. I, I would say there's, there's still probably, I would say, like a 20% chance that Ludwig can win, I think, even now. Just no. because of the fact that both no, players good. are low on time. He has to take it, right? And, um, and, and, like, and it's Papa insane Platt not to take. has to find a checkmate here. He blocked himself off from his protection. Yeah. It's a and hanging queen. I think that makes a lot of sense, too, because Ludwig here. clearly noticed this. His opponent is know. down on the board. He hasn't given up yet. And even though the king is in danger, finding the, the precise moves to checkmate will take quite a time sink on Papa Plata. Right. I think also the important thing is that he doesn't... It, it, the main thing for Papa Plata here is to not hang his queen or hang something for free. As long as he doesn't lose a queen or a knight or something along these lines and get nothing in return, he, he should win this game. But again, he's thinking for a long time. He's down to four minutes already. It's, <gasps> oh! Like I said, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh. That is... No. Right. Oh. He card, oh. brother. Jinxed it. You jinxed it. You said he was going to give his queen and he listened. I said it was 20%. There's a reason I said it was 20%. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, Ludwig. All okay, right, let's see. Come if on, Ludwig. Can... Put on your serious face. Put on your serious face and take the queen. Put on your serious face, man. Put it on. Not to scare you, but right now on his stream, this is the arrow he has drawn on the board. Put it on. Put, put on your serious <laughs> face, Ludwig. Coach Hikaru coming out. Okay, we're listening to him again. <clears throat> this music is perfect for what's going on. So if I bring Bishop to E6 and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then he takes this, and then I take this, then I can... Yeah, I think e bishop to e6 is fine. Seems reasonable. It's reasonable. I didn't say it's it's great, but it's reasonable. Oh my god. Uh, Chad, I think we just lost Hikaru's soul watching that. No, I'm here. Uh, I, ha I have a different <laughs> thought completely, but I won't say it. <laughs> There, there's a certain league term that I, that I would use that I think describes what's happening here. What is that term? I don't. I don't want to say it. Chat knows what I'm thinking. Oh, so. okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, so Ludwig is excited about the fact that he's up on time. It's good to see that he's you know at least excited mm -hmm. here, and he survived. Right. He didn't get checkmated. This is true. This is true. Now, if he really is glad that he's ahead on time, he should be moving instantly. Hey, right. He's playing a little bit more slowly. Um, at least he saw the threat. Hopefully, he'll develop his pieces soon as well. But Papa Plata just has so many, so much extra material here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's realistic for, for Ludwig to come back here. What would you put the chances at now? No, I mean, it's, it's like 5%. Okay. Well, there's still a chance. Um... Uh, so easiest plans for Papa Plata, just develop his pieces, start pushing his past spawns, or he can go grab more. That's also solid. Right. I think, I mean, at this point, I think Papa Plata is almost certainly going to, going to win this game here. I think it's, it's very likely that he will, uh, that, that he'll win. So if Ludwig hadn't played com pure, complete chaos in the opening, um, he still would have been a favorite, but he went for that terrifying line. And Papa Plata saw the critical move, which I'm just going to pull up for a second here, which was Queen H5. So that was still pretty impressive. Yeah, I thought it was a very, very good performance by pa Papa Plata to see Queen H5, um, just to, to bring the queen to the center of the board. I thought that was very, very good. So it's, it's fantastic that Papa Plata is playing, playing well, other than the one bad move that he played. Yeah, that's very fair. And now he'll just need to play a little bit quickly to make sure he doesn't get in time pressure and forget or anything like that. Right, but because he's down to, what, three, three and a half minutes. So he still has time where he could possibly lose on the clock. But I, I think it's extremely unlikely that he will lose. I think, I think it's a very, very high likelihood that, 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 um, 
the Papa Plata will will uh, win this game. I would say right. it's like 95% plus. And that's going to mean that Papa Plata is going to make it to the championships bracket. So on the bright side, if Ludwig is in the contenders, I mean, he'll be a bigger fish in a small pond, He'll, be, he'll right? be one of the favorites in the contenders. That's why I was saying, like, maybe he's five heading this heat car. Maybe he confused your opening theory. You know what I mean? Yeah, he confused it. He pushed he pushed the wrong pawn instead of the other one. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll, I'll I'll move away. I'll move away from that comment. Um, so if, if you were coaching someone here and your student had the black pieces, what, what would you tell them? I would tell them just move quickly. You're up on you're up on the clock here and stop thinking. You only have a knight and a rook. Yeah, that's that's pretty fair. Um Papa Plata actually looks more stressed than Ludwig, despite the fact that he's winning. Yeah, well, I mean, I think certainly Papa Plata is much newer to chess than Ludwig. He's also significantly lower rated. So I think to win his first game against Swiftor and then to win this game as well, um, I think certainly it, it, it's it's much more nerve-wracking because he's not expecting to do well. So the fact that he's going to have two victories, um, certainly certainly, I think it's just uh, probably more more of a shock, more of a surprise. Yeah, I think that's really fair. Um, and if Papa Plata does win this, which he's obviously very likely to, I mean, he's going to have a tough time in the challengers division. It is so strong. Yeah. I mean, I think certainly for Papa Plata, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be very difficult in, in the champions bracket. He is in what group D, right? I, I believe so, but I'll take it. So, I mean, I think there's a certain guy and a certain set of, uh, buys who are going to be very happy with that potential matchup. So I'm pretty sure that, that, uh, uh, the winner of Group C will play against the second place player in Group D. So I think that um, I think that uh, in, in terms of bracket, that means that that Forsen is probably going to play against Papa Plata in the in the first uh, in the first first round of the Champions bracket. If I have my brackets correct, which I think I do, so so the buys are going to be very happy, assuming that Forsen keeps it together. But if I'm looking ahead and I assume that Papa Plata wins this game, that should be the first round matchup. And now. Now, Ludwig plays Rook to F8, which allows the Knight Fork winning the Rook. Okay, well, let's see if he sees that. I mean, he has so much material here. I don't, I don't see. He I, has, he'll see a check. He'll see yeah. one of the checks. I don't know which yeah. one. He also has Bishop A3 or Knight E4. Just a ton of good moves here, even mm-hmm. if one is the most accurate. Right, so he finds the Bishop check. This is a good move. Okay, the, the King is going to go to D6 because he doesn't have other squares. I mean, he, he missed one tactic. I think one thing that often happens is when you're up on material, you stop looking to win more material. Maybe you get a little bit more relaxed and overconfident. Right, yeah, this is certainly true. I mean, I think the only thing that Papa Platt has to do here is he needs to relax and just try to push the pawns on the king side up the board. That way, there, everything is very solid. There are no weaknesses in his position. So um, so he's just, yeah, he's just winning. He's just winning here. As long yeah. as he remembers to push the pawns, I think he has no no worries. And I, I don't think really he's... see how Ludwig can win this game, honestly, because nothing is under attack. I was going to say, it looks like he's going to bite through all of his fingernails um, at, you know, just being nervous in this game. Mm-hmm. But Well, the on... thing is, you can tell Ludwig is like, he's like so calm that it's very, Ludwig is normally not a calm guy like this. He's so calm and so chill. It's, um, it lo- it's, it's rather strange. Well, on that note, let's, let's take one more look into what Ludwig is saying. We're about to put him live, his audio on, on show. That's a strong reaction to one pawn. Okay. I like his reaction because it almost seems like he feels like he still has a chance, you know? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I want to end up here. How do you get a how do you get a knight there? That's not how you get the knight there. You go back to E7. Bang. The voice of God behind there, yes. Bing. (laughs) Bang. Boom. Um, Bang. he has a lot of arrows on screen. If we could pull, oh, Bang. it's pulled up now. Great. Boom. How do you get a knight there? I think it's the one square that the knight can't go. Actually, I read about this. How would you, <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate that arrowing? Right. Um, um, like maybe a three. <laughs> okay, oh, not shit. the worst. 
Yeah, so I mean, I, I think Ludwig, Ludwig is also moving way too slowly here, which is rather strange as well. I mean, because the I only way he can win the game is on time, so he's using way too much time. And it's, it's, oh, it's rather, I gotta move. I gotta move. I'm rather unusual, time. but certainly, uh, I mean, Ludwig, Ludwig is setting himself up where he there's going to be a lot to of God. pressure. Um, Latvia, after this, this uh, is on you. First set of games, I will say that. And he, he keeps blaming song. Latvia, Let's the opening that got him in this situation. Um, what's the idea yeah. here? Oof. What is he doing here? Well, Going here? he's, you know, still still trying here, but he's calculating here? everything, and it's just not going to also him used, He's also used he's uh, way too much time here. Ignore. So I, I feel like... Uh, I mean, let's just say I'm not, I'm not so sure. I think, I think he should keep his day job right now because I feel like the... Performance. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not Oscar worthy. Chess in his career there. <laughs> okay, I think I think we're back, um, and we unmuted him again. Okay, well, he's actually the one who might end up flagging here. I guess he can try giving up all of his pieces and praying for stalemate. That almost seems like the best shot at this point. Yeah, I mean, he's just so far down the clock that I just don't see it happening. I mean, I don't disagree. It's extremely unlikely, but if he's not resigning, then what else can he go for? Other than he like quickly give up his pieces um, and make fast moves. I mean, I, I guess, it, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even see a move. I just don't see a move. I literally don't see a move. <sighs> literally, I don't see a move. Well, what about Ludwig's chances? So you said that he's going to be a favorite in the contender. Who else do you think would be a pretty big favorite? Um... I don't know if there are any other favorites in 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 that bracket. Seeing like here, Papa Plata hangs hangs the rook. Okay, so so Ludwig does take the rook. Well, even if he gives a material, I mean, he, oh. okay. See, okay, so Papa Plata still gives him a chance to to play in this game. Like, okay, now now we'll see. Okay. Papa okay. Plato wanted to mix it up a little bit. I don't know why the pawn only moved. Oh, shoot. Do you think he thought the pawn can only move once? No. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, before. so you should push the pawn off the board. Now, will Ludwig take the pawn on A2? This is... Oh, if he would have taken... I'm just going to go back to show your idea. Yeah. Um, if he would have taken on A2 and threatened Rook A1, checking the king and the Rook, he actually would have had a chance. And I think yeah. that Papa Plato would have just keep kept pushing his pawn. So he could have right, saved Right, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, that's that's not what okay, happened. Okay, so here. Ludwig needs to move the rook over somewhere to attack. I, I'm still not sure that this. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what does this not remind you of, like Caruana Carlson? What are you talking about, Hikaru? This is this is okay, well so... known. Okay. Okay, we're going back to Ludwig's audio. And now, will Ludwig put the rook in front of the pawn? He does. Okay. So we're, we're listening in on his stream again. He choked. He's, he's putting up a good fight here. Well, I mean, the, the plan for Papa Plata is, is straightforward. Wait, 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 and wait, like, he can just try to get his king to g7, kick out the rook, and then promote. But I do think it's hard to see based on his strategy so far, which has just been pushing pawns. Right. One, and also, two, I'm not three, convinced four, um, five away. that Papa Plata will know how to checkmate <laughs> so with the king and rook against the king turns, if he gets that far. Retake. So the, a draw is, is a possible result him? here. Um, One, two, three, I don't think it's, it's, it's implausible oh, this will be a draw. I really don't know. But we'll we'll see we'll see if, if uh, okay, what okay. happens because now he's sure gonna go king a five he's got to go and take the right. pawn if he doesn't he's blundered I mean I I think the pop of platter sure should be able to get to king and rook against king but I'm not sure if he can win king and because now and I do rook this and I take this pawn okay um, well he's he's actually explaining uh, what he thinks right now so let's oh, take this a listen be interesting. sure I still grab that pawn that was so weird why would he bring his rook down. He's choking so hard. Hikaru, can you still watch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm. Wa which one are we watching? No, I, I'm here. just kidding. Like, is this too hard for you to watch? No, no. I, I mean, I. It's not hard for me to watch. What I kind of want to see is can can Papa Plata do this where he keeps a C pawn on the board? Because if it gets the king and rook against king, there is no way that Papa Plata is going to win this. I would say. Um, 
But if uh, Papa Platter can get to can keep the pawn and, and and do it like that, then there is a chance. Uh, but I still think a draw is 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 a possible uh, just kidding possible result here. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, Ludwig's still so calm. Yeah, I mean, I, he's much calmer than he was in the match against Box Box specifically. So I think, uh, okay, now here will he move the king up. This Back is off. where he has to move the king up and try to win the pawn. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what was that decision? Okay. Oh! No, 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 no I didn't choke. Now Did King I? G7 so wins weird. the game. I'm sure Papa doing? Platt sees the win, right? Is this smart or stupid? I, I think so, but then we're going to see your question of oh, if he knows smart. how to checkmate. Right, right. He should know how to checkmate with king and queen and rook. I'm sure that he was shown that the other day. Oh, I I'm can't. sure of it. <gasps> He's a genius! He must have been shown the meat, right? Yeah. I didn't... <laughs> no! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um... I, I'm sorry. I'm just listening to Ludwig's struggle right now. Why? Why did they give you hope just to take it away? I mean, I could still see this being a draw, though. I, I think it's still possible. I, I will know right away, though, if he sees the pattern. It, it looks like Papa Platter realizes he has to always check the king. So if he realizes that he always has to check the king, then he should figure out how to make the checkmate. Yeah, and it's clear he knows how to mate. So it's going to be checkmate. Yeah, he's going to checkmate easily here. Well, he, he sure kept the drama yeah, on for a little longer. Yeah, was a very important move. Because now it's clear that he knows how to cut the king from the ranks mm -hmm. and he'll he'll win the game, yeah. Um, very clear that he knows how to make the checkmate. Yep. Maybe we'll see queen f2. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah he, he obviously looked at this, right? Yeah, yeah. The, it, was right, it was clear right away that he would see the checkmate. So very impressive finish by, by Papa Plata, um, all things considered. All right. Well... He, oh my gosh, he's disappearing into his shirt. <laughs> the intense thinking pose. I love the mm -hmm. pure focus there. Yeah, the, this ending part was very, very good by uh, by Papa Plata. Very, very good. Um, very, very nice finish. I was very impressed by by the way that he finished the game with the king, king, the, the rook, and the pawns. We're going to the Papa Plata audio now because he's celebrating. We did it! Oh, Yeah, very, very, very on, nice. Uh, Let's go. Oh. oh. Nice. He, his Wholesome. girlfriend is there too to support him. That's so mm -hmm. cute. Aw. <laughs> nice. Very Kiss nice. Kiss for the winner. Let's fucking go. Yeah! <laughs> very nice. <laughs> All right. I think, I think we're off the audio now. Um, okay. So I don't think either of us could have expected what just happened. Yeah, I mean the whole game was very, very weird, certainly. But it 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 uh it, it did work. It worked out in 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 uh, Papa Plata's favor, and very very nice win for him for the most part. It was a very very good game. Yeah, it was a nice finish at the end. He did scare us a little bit because he was up a billion pieces, and then all of a sudden he just had an extra three pawns. Um, right. But you mm -hmm. know what? He, I'm gonna say he knew how to put on a show. Yeah, he 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 played he played very well. I was impressed by his ability to find the queen check and then the queen check over to e5, the light square to the dark square, attacking the king and the rook. Um, so I, I thought it was very very good what he did. Obviously, after that, once he was way ahead, he misplayed it a little bit, but he was ahead by so many pieces that uh, it, it was just too much for Ludwig to overcome. Well, chat, we will be back soon. We'll be doing the usual interviews, and those are going to be so much fun. So stick around. And we are back. We are joined by Ludwig and Papa Plata. I mean, what a game this was. Um, Ludwig, maybe you can start and explain your opening choice. Well, you know, uh, great question, Alex. I do learn from the best. And so I asked for some coaching from, from, from the best I know, Hikaru. And, and he hit me back and he said, Ludwig, it, you'd be dumb to not go F5. And so I did that through <laughs> and through. Uh, and it just turned out it might not have been the best play. Uh, by the way, Logwood, I'm going to jump in for one second there. <laughs> sure. v very unfortunately sure, for you. You don't have I, to. Very you unfortunately for you, I actually uh, I read out exactly what I wrote you in the DM <laughs> on the stream as you were okay, moving. Okay, wait, Hikaru, do, do you understand that? Set, you know what 737, you, what, what time zone are you? 
you, you DM me at 7.37 a.m., Hikaru. I woke up to a buzz, all right? Because I have a special ringtone when you when you ring. It's the Kim Possible. Dun, 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 dun. And, I, and I said, all right, I can't, sh I can't ignore this because I thought it might be training. And then you said, no, I can't do training. I'm too busy. I don't have enough years. And I said, fine, fine, fine. And so then, and then I look at it and I read it and it's 7.37. It's 7.37. The cutoff is noon. You're not allowed to message any streamer before noon. This is the rule. It's been the rule. Everybody follows it. And so I read it at like 8 a.m. And I thought you said F5. And I was like, oh, that seems dope. That's like a, that's like a cool gambit. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know what the third move was. Yeah. <laughs> it, that's, that's, it happens sometimes. Oh, man. Does, oh, it, well. does it happen to you sometimes? Not really, but I, I showed this to someone else. So okay, right, you you, cool. you might you should have watched the video. The uh, you should have watched it when I showed force in this gambit. But nonetheless, um, what did you think about the opening? I thought I was like I was like, damn, this dude is dog. <laughs> he put his he put. <laughs> I his am horse. actually. I am. No, I was like he put his horses two apart, literally allowing me to pin it. I mean, this is gonna be free. I was like, I wanted to throw for content, but I can't even do it because he's not good enough. <laughs> and then he brings his queen down, and I'm like, he's even dumber because you're not supposed to activate your queen before activating all your other pieces. And then, um, I don't know, man. I don't know what, what voodoo magic that was, but that queen worked uh, something pretty. Papa Plata, that was an incredible queen maneuver. Have you seen this before, or was this the first time and you discovered it during the game? I discovered it um, during the game, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I found gravity. <laughs> yeah, because I dropped yeah, the ball. Your, yeah, your pieces fell pretty quickly, Ludwig. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then and then when he when he blundered his queen, I did mm -hmm. not see. I'm mm -hmm. gonna pull up that position on the board. Um, yeah, Papa Plata, there was a point where he could have taken your queen for free. So Ludwig, um, did you see it after you made the move? No. Twitch chat told me. <laughs> I was, I was, because I, I literally said to myself, well, all he can do here is trade or he can move up uh, to F7. That's it. That's all I can do. It's F7 or trade queen. And then he did something else. And I, and my first thought was like, oh, I'm stupid. What he did was totally chill. I should have seen that. And then I was just like, all right, what's my counter? Because I, I, I had planned it out. I had thought everything through. Here's the thing. Do you know, do you know the phenomenon that's called, it's the GM, the GM phenomenon? It's where GMs play worse when they don't play another GM. Ah, was, okay, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was watching. I was watching actually Moist Critical. Who he was be, being coached by someone this morning. I, I think they're a GM. I don't, or maybe an I. Naroditsky, yeah. Yeah, Naroditsky, and Naroditsky missed a blunder. All right, the the enemy team blundered the bishop, and Naroditsky missed it. And Moist Critical saw it because GMs don't see blunders like that. And I think that's kind of what happened to me here today Alex. so you're a gm and you didn't <laughs> see the blunder because papa <laughs> plata is just you know an i am over there i could not have phrased it better myself <laughs> you're welcome that's what i'm here for um so papa plata did you see that your queen was hanging after you moved it um, no I, I guess not i still see it now I, I don't see it now i guess the pawn the pawn the pawn would just take the queen oh no, that's what oh, I said. Dude. That's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> what the? Well, okay, let, let's. <laughs> um, okay, so so I'm gonna just progress through the game a little bit because we were saying how Papa Plata was completely winning. Maybe Ludwig could play very quickly and beat him on the clock, but then Ludwig was actually playing slowly, so we didn't really know what happened there. But all of a sudden, you get into the end game. And uh, there were only three pawns versus the rook. Papa mm, Plata, what happened? Yeah. Uh, I mix, uh, I misclicked one, and then blundered another. And um, yeah, like I, I get one misclick, but like seven misclicks in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, seven misclicks in a row. Yeah, just that's, be, that's just it, be honest. Actually. You did it on purpose to make me feel good about myself. You yeah. had to yeah, roll me back it, yeah. in the game only to crush my goddamn hopes and dreams. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's that. That was the strat here. Did Did you get a little bit more hopeful towards the end, Ludwig? Yeah. What do you mean? He <laughs> blundered every goddamn piece he had. <laughs> he found a few pawns. I was like, no way. This guy knows how to pawn king push. Turns out he doesn't. So he just abandoned all ships and went, <laughs> and went to target my rook, which ended up being five head ab. I feel like I played it master. Were you guys talking about how masterfully I played it at the end? Because I feel like I almost made a comeback of the century. Hey, Carl, I'll let you take um, this one. 
you you were always way behind towards the end, but but we did have a theory that if you could take all the pawns and uh, Papa Plato only had a king and one rook against a king, that he probably would not be able to checkmate you. But unfortunately, uh, you made this blunder right near the end where you moved your king up, which allowed the king to attack your rook and your king at the same time if we go forward. Um, yeah. And then that was a yeah. very Discovery nice move, check. King Discovery 2 check. Yeah. Believe it or not, uh, actually a misclick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We we got Everything like a world record of misclicks between the two of you guys. <laughs> it's, it's, too, it's too early. It's too early. I'm a, I'm a PM streamer, late PM. No, that's fair. Um, Papa Plata, have you practiced uh, king and rook versus king endgames? Uh, no, I actually didn't practice a, uh, endgame at all. So, so you figured out how to checkmate at the end without knowing? Yeah, I, I, I tried something out and it somehow worked. I don't know. Well, that's very impressive. I think maybe in a rook, you just walk. You just walk. <laughs> it's like so easy. I could have done it too. Yeah, but I mean, to be to be fair, there have been several other streamers who, like, even when they end up with like queens and rooks on the board, they don't know the pattern. So to find that pattern without knowing it is uh, is quite impressive. So so congratulations. That was very very nice. The finish was perfect. Yeah, thank you guys so much for coming on for the interview. Um, you know. I'm not going to say it was the best chess I've ever seen, but it was really entertaining. <laughs> so thank you both for that, Ludwig and Papa Plata. Good luck in your future games. Thanks very much.